Hello and welcome to today's show. I hope that you are perfectly fine wherever you are watching us from. I'm your host, Molo Collins, and of course, this is Sport and TV, your number one leading sports channel. And it's a big one this weekend of the English Premier League, that is the 2023-2024 season, and Manchester City will be home at Etihad against Tottenham Hotspur this coming weekend. Remember, this is the season of 2023-2024. 24 season and it's going to be fireworks as usual when Manchester City and Tottenham do manage to meet and before we get down right to it do remember to view like subscribe and share and also drop a comment on the comment section down below let's get interactive across all social media platforms and on Facebook I'm at Molo Collins let's keep the conversation going across all social media platforms and I'll be sure to sample some of your good messages on our next show and I'll also be keeping tabs on all the matches taking place this weekend in the English uh, Premier League. Well, I'm your host Molo Collins and let's get down to it and Manchester City will be at home against Tottenham Hotspur, the match which will be played at Etihad Stadium. Do remember that Tottenham is under Postekelu. Postekelu is the former manager of Celtic and of course Manchester City is on the able hands of Pep Guardiola. Remember that coming to this match Manchester City are the defending champions of the English Premier League and will be facing a very dangerous side in the name of Tottenham. Do remember that also Tottenham at some point of the season they were in a very scintillating form and at, the, at some point they managed to lead the log for some matches but through going on through the season somehow they managed to encounter some injuries and some suspension which went a long way in derailing their form this season and Manchester City on the other side is not very very rosy for Pep Guardiola this side this time round this season because so far they are winning matches but not really convincingly and at the moment Manchester City is holding that second position on the log and the first place on the log currently is being occupied by Arsenal. I remember that Arsenal is under the Spanish tactician that is Mikel Ateta. Well, Manchester City so far have managed to play a total of 13 matches and in those 13 matches Manchester City have gone ahead winning nine of them, drawing two, also losing Two matches and so far Manchester City have managed to gain a total of 29 points so far this season and Tottenham currently is occupying that position of fifth and so far also Tottenham have managed to play a total of 13 matches so far Tottenham have managed to win eight matches so far they've drawn two and they've lost three accumulating a total of 20 six points. I do remember that Tottenham when the season started they were in a very very impeccable form but now I think what I don't know what really happened to Tottenham because so far Tottenham have lost three consecutive matches. The first match that Tottenham lost which made them lose their unbeaten streak was against Chelsea when they went down by four goals to one and Chelsea is the team that ended Tottenham unbeaten run and the second matches which Tottenham also lost was against Wolves Hampton and Tottenham went down two goals to one and finally the match which was previously played just recently it was against Aston Villa and also Tottenham managed to lose that match by two goals to one and let's also look at Manchester City form coming into this match uh, so far and we've seen that the last three matches that Manchester City have played the only match that, that Manchester City have won in those three is against Bournemouth when they came out 6-1 victors against Bournemouth and the match that Manchester City also drew was against Chelsea a match which I think Manchester City should have won and could have killed the match very early because Manchester City managed to take the lead I think three times against Chelsea but uh, Chelsea came back stronger and managed to salvage a point 
for the for themselves and the other match that also Manchester City managed to draw was against Liverpool when they went on to draw 1-1 the match remember was played at Etihad Stadium but I think that this season Manchester City is not really the team that we expect and we know from them and I know what Pep and his players can do because if you look keenly at these matches that Tottenham have managed to play this season, uh, Manchester City rather have managed to play this season, they have been taking the lead and I don't know what goes on and the teams that Manchester City play against they manage to come back into the game. I do remember that Manchester City is under the tutelage of Pep Guardiola and Tottenham on the other side is under the tutelage of Postecoglou. This is a very able manager who has managed to prove himself uh, this season so far and the gap is not so big but I think that if Tottenham manage to keep their house in order I think that they can manage to retain that early season form when the likes of Richardson, Madison of course who is injured and of course Son were managing to give Tottenham so many crucial points at this season and let's go and look at the formations that this team are going to use in this coming weekend and we see that Manchester City mainly like to use a system of 4-3-3 uh, three, three, and uh, Tottenham on the other side uses a system of 4-5-1 and let's start with Manchester City we see that the likes of Ruben Diaz, the likes of Wakanji, Kyle Walker and Gavidiol or maybe even Ake are the ones who sit at that defense and in that middle of the park we have the evergreen Rodri and we also have John Stones and on the flanks currently we have Phil Foden and we also have Doku and not forgetting Bernardo Silva and in that tip of the attack we, we, all, we have Erling Haaland uh, banging in the goals for Manchester City and Tottenham on the other side have been hit by major injuries. The one particular player that I would like to point out is Madison who has been very pivotal and crucial for this Tottenham side this uh, season and he has been next year I think maybe the beginning of January I think that Madison will be back for Tottenham at uh, this season. Let's go and look at the last five fixtures that these two teams have met and so far Tottenham have managed to win three of the five fixtures that they faced Manchester City recently and Manchester City have won a total of two matches so I think that Tottenham in the last five matches coming to these fixtures Tottenham have an upper hand against Manchester City and I'm going to wait and see what is going to take place this weekend as I know these two tacticians are very free flowing managers and they like to open up the game, try to play that sleek, beautiful football that we are used to seeing and especially Pep Guardiola is a manager that likes to have a lot of tweaks in his side and we won't be sure with the first 11 till we see it coming because Pep Guardiola as we know him is a man of surprises and Postecoglou on the other side of Tottenham I think that currently he has so many suspensions and but one particular player I like to also mention out again is Madison who has not been playing for Tottenham since he got injured and I think that creativity of Madison in the final third of Tottenham I think is really missing this season and that may be one of the major undoing that Tottenham is facing this season because they lack, lack that creativity in that final third. The likes of Son and the likes of Richarlison are not receiving the necessary balls in that final third to try and score the most important goals for Tottenham this season. And of course this is going to be a very open, fast-paced kind of football. It's going to be a football of Tiki Taka brand of football and on the other side is going to be counter attack for Tottenham but so far I think that Postecoglou has managed to instill a lot of confidence in this Tottenham side this season and many are expecting fireworks coming into this match 
Well, Manchester City on the other side is at home, and as you know, the home advantage really counts. But does it really count in this modern kind of football? And we only have a few hours to know what will really take place in this match. And if Manchester City manage to lose this match against Tottenham, then Tottenham will tie with Manchester City at 29 point apiece. And if Tottenham on the other side manage to lose their fourth consecutive match in this a season competition, I think they will be further away in the pecking order of that top four finish this season. And one major concern that I will also like to point out is Kevin De Bruyne, who has been missing for Manchester City this season so far. But Kevin De Bruyne has not played a single match for Manchester City this season but we expect him in the second leg maybe or maybe early next year to kick start his season of 2023-2024 but so far I don't think that Manchester City are really missing uh, Kevin De Bruyne because the likes of Phil Ford and the likes of Doku and uh, the likes of Bernardo Silva have really come in to play and they have really fit in the shoe of Kevin De Bruyne but really have they really fitted in the shoes of David De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne is an, a world-class player in that matter and he manages to dictate the pace or maybe the results of the game maybe by a single touch. A very, very crucial, important player for Pep Guardiola and Manchester City on the other hand. Uh, one also particular player that I would like to mention out is in the name of Bisuma. Bisuma, remember, that is a defensive midfielder, former Brighton, a defensive holding midfielder role, role, role for, for Tottenham for that matter, and he sets the pace going for Tottenham in that matter, and he manages to bring the ball from the defensive transition and maybe to the attacking transition. And Pep Guardiola, on the other side, likes to play those sleeky, short, short passes until is caused and maybe Tottenham or maybe Postecoglou can decide this time to use the longer balls or the high balls. Maybe it can go a long way in destabilizing that Manchester City defense. And of course this is a match that promises a lot of good football. This is a match that promises a lot of wonderful scenes at Etihad Stadium and you only have a few hours to the match and of course we Sport and TV will be keeping tabs on all that will be taking place this match against Manchester City and Tottenham this coming weekend. Well, I've been your able host Molo Collins. Let's do this again next time when we do meet. Remember to view, like, subscribe and share and also hit that notification button. As for me and the rest of my crew, it's bye bye for now. Let's do this again next time.